How you doing guys? I wanted to just add a quick tutorial on how to use the uh, VA synth program. This is going to be the basics. Uh, so I'm adding it to a large mod that I'm making. There's going to be a couple programs you're going to need to do this the way I do it anyway. Uh, so you're going to want the VA synth. I use a CPU version. You can get a, a version that's a little quicker, but it really doesn't you know, do all that much for you. What I do recommend is throttle stop. You can just look this up uh, because when you start throttle stop, uh, when you're running a lot of programs, it'll, your CPU can get a little hot. Uh, so I just disable the turbo. That's the only thing I use it for. And it keeps it around 50 to 60 degrees Celsius at the most, even when it's running. It doesn't slow it down that much. I mean, I've added over, I mean, pushing 4,000 voice files now to Skyrim's Shrouded Secret. Um, so I recommend that you don't have to but I do that so basically let's get started I'm gonna leave the link in the description uh, to a couple programs that you're gonna to want to want one is going to be I don't know if I'm gonna say this right Yaki Tora audio converter from Nexus it's actually fantastic then you're gonna want the VA synth program now uh, download the VA synth program it's a pretty big download but once you get that downloaded before we go into it I'm gonna show you this is what it's gonna look like when you unzip it you're gonna open it up you're gonna see all these files in here this is the pull it out, make a, you know, put it on your desktop or whatever, whatever you need to do, make a copy of it. But the uh, the key to it is to add the voice. So it's, I guess some people haven't looked much into it. Sorry if I'm stumbling. This is the last second thing I decided to do. So when you download a voice, uh, just unzip it. And uh, once you unzip the voice, it, it's very simple. Open it up. You're going to see resources. Just copy that file. That says resources. Go back to where your uh, VA synth is. Right here. Then you're going to see the resources folders right there. So back out one. Paste it in. Now I got the Argoni, female Argoni voice in. So what you want to do is go down to the application. Double click it and open it. It's actually pretty simple. So I'm on. Yeah, you got to switch. Let this load up. Okay, so here we are here. Uh, yeah, you're going to see some nasty dialogue because I'm making a nasty mod. But, so right now I'm adding to uh, Grossa over in uh, in the rain, rain and Obedience. And so I'm just going to show you real quick how this works. And then I'm going to show you how to, the proper way to install it. There's a couple things on the synth you want to know. Uh, you want to get the FFM peg uh, post-processing. On the site for the download of this mod, this program, I really don't want to call it a mod because it's actually an amazing program. You want to change this so you're you're putting it to 16-bit because it's what the creation kit's made for. I don't know about an SE, I just know about an LE. This is what I'm doing. So, other than that, you can't create the lip files if you don't have it 16-bit. There is another way around that, but it's a, it's a longer process to do it. So, you want to set that and set your paths uh, that simple too. I mean, just go into where it's going. Like where everything's going to go to is going to be this path right here, right up to that point. So you could just right click, copy as text, and paste it into the path right here to make sure it goes to the right area. But I'm just going over the basics right now of how to do this. So if I'm going back in, I'm going to be doing a Nord voice. So I'll open this up. So you're going to want to leave this over here. Now I'm going to go into the dialogue of the mod that I'm working on, which right now is grosses right actually I put a miscellaneous dialogue and we'll do that one uh, this one is a hollow dialogue at a certain stage so you don't have to keep using scripts to set everything forward so what will happen is is that you're going to talk to her about her being your mistress but she needs you to find her husband which is a vanilla quest this is stage 60 where it sets up so when you go and say hello to her instead of using a whole script to set it forward to the the next dialogue I put a miscellaneous hello script uh, hello dialogue in with zero script say once make sure that when you have say once this is at zero if you put say once and you have this let's say at 24 hours reset it'll keep resetting and say once every 24 hours so I have it so grosser will say it at level 60 when you first go to talk to her right so open up where your dialogue is just copy it there's a couple things you want to be aware of though when you you put certain words in like aren't or don't or I'm 
in the creation kit and it corrects and puts the apostrophe in for you it puts the wrong apostrophe in and when that happens sometimes you'll go to the voice synth will not recognize it and it will say there was an error so just if you see that check your your punctuation to make sure that's right so i know why you're here and we see i've already screwed up the spelling so we will discuss this uh when my husband is found so what i do to kind of create a space so it's not too fast is like in here i'll put a period here okay so this will create a space almost like you'll see what i'm saying when i when i put it but i don't do it over here but i will fix the we part so here's the dialogue we're going to create this here uh oh we gotta load the then click on the voice you want hit load model generate the voice it's this simple It'll take a second to generate, and probably more because I'm running the program to record all this as well, because usually this is done already. I know why you're here, and we will discuss it when my husband is found. So I'm just going to leave that the way it is. You could adjust it a little bit. But if you let's say you go into an, another piece of dialogue before you talk again. One thing you want to do is at the end of this, you're going to want to take where the punctuation is, and I put that to about a 10 or 11. That way there's a space gap, and it just, just continually it seems like it's talking too fast when you don't do that. Generate the voice again so it adds that space at the end. Now it says in the uh, the FFmpeg that it'll add a millisecond thing to the end of it. Mine doesn't seem to work, which is fine. I mean, he's still doing updates and working on this all I the time. I know why you're here, and we will discuss it when my husband is found. So from here, before I go any farther, I'm going to show you these different things over here. I always use the wave glow. That usually comes out with a certain voice. Big wave glow takes longer and tries to make a better voice with it. Uh, but I haven't needed that only a couple times. The quick and dirty makes it fast, so you can adjust the the cadence. And then once the cadence you have right, then you can put it back. I just use the wave glow because I have the time to do that right now when I'm working on it. That's my recommendation. From here, we have the voice file. So you hit keep sample, and that's gonna it tells you here what it generates. Now you want to take this in that voice file, and you want to copy that. Go into the file here. It made a JSON file, and it made the WAV file. I just hit F2, Control V, and I changed the file to that name. Now, from here, I usually do multiple voices at a time. I'm going to copy this. Actually, what I usually do is I cut this. That way, I don't got to go back. And now we're going to go to the Skyrim folder. So this is in where the game files actually are: data, sound, voice, Skyrim Shrouded Secret. Right? I want the Nord. If I didn't have Nord, I could go here and go to the different voices I've used. But if I go to the Nord, I copy and paste this in. Now, a lot of people, you'll see them, they'll go in here and they'll hit this record and save. And when you get here, this will overwrite. I don't recommend that if you want to put the lip files in, because the lip file you create here will not match the WAV file. It will start to talk for a second when you're in game, but the lip file won't work. So now that we have this in the proper file for the game, if you notice down here, I'm going to close this back out. It says there's no WAV file, no lip file. Close that back out. Open it back up. Now you're going to see there's a WAV file with no lip file. Click on the sound. Click WAV file. Generate. From here, if I go back and look in the folder, you're going to see there's now a lip file. The lip file was now created to the WAV file from the, the SKVA synth. So now this lip file will match the file you created. Right? We're still not done though. So from here... Close this back out. It doesn't matter if you do. The other file I'm talking about is the audio converter. So you want to convert WAV file to a fuzz file. Right? So you're going to open this up. You're going to look for the Nord, which I think I'm already there. You're going to choose this file. And then it will, you always want to pay attention to down here. I got one queued up. Now I want to convert it. So now it converted. Sometimes it will say skipped. It means you already had the file. There was an error. Maybe a lip file wasn't there. I put include lip file if exists. You can change that around. 20 KBS, it won't go down to 16 here. But if the creation kit lets you create the lip file, you already had it at 16, so that's fine. And then you're going to go back in here and you're just going to delete the two you made because it's in a fuzz file now. So you could reverse that. And I'm not going to get it. Like I said, I'm just going to the basics. And you could uh, go back in here and you could change this. So if you didn't, weren't able to do 16-bit, let's say you saved them in 32 and you tried to do it in the old creation kit. If you save them, no matter how it is, into a fuzz file, and then you reversed it, uh, let's clear the list here because it won't allow you to change any of this then. 
and I change this, taking a fuzz uh, XWM, changing it to a WAV file, it'll unpack the fuzz file, right? And then you can, for some reason, unpack it as a 16-bit. So then you could do the lit file that way, but it's an extra process. It's just as easy to put the FF uh, MPEG because that there is a quick tutorial. It's actually very simple to do. And uh, that is the basics of how to add voice in. Uh, sometimes uh, I will make a more complicated one of how to add cadence or the way I do it or certain punctuations make a difference. If you add a exclamation point, it's probably going to be her almost screaming, almost inaudible with this program at this point. And you can use, you know, the flatten, decrease, increase. And I'll make another tutorial later on that. I just wanted to go the basics of how to get to the point of adding voice files. The key to it is in the end when you're in here and after you convert that file to remove the wave and lip file you had because it's now been converted to a fuzz file and that's the only one you need and that's the one the game is going to read. Okay? I hope this helped out. I might have missed something. I don't know. Anyways, have a good day, guys.